Hi everyone, my name is Victor Grauserrat and I'm one of the developers working at Enigma on Catalyst. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to install Catalyst on a Windows machine and the installation is going to be going to go all smooth and without problems. For a Windows installation with problems, see my other video on this subject. I will follow the instructions that we have on our documentation website enigmampc.github.io slash catalyst. On the left hand side we have an install link and if you scroll down we'll get to installing with Conda. So Conda is a package manager that uh, provides an environment and solves most of the dependencies for you so that you don't have to worry about it. So the first thing that we want to install is Conda if you don't have it installed in your system already. And for that, we're going to use Mini Conda, which is um, sort of a downsized version of Conda, but still contains all the required packages. So go ahead and follow the link to a Mini Conda and in my case this is a windows 10 I'll, and i'll choose python 2.7 which is um, we provide better support for 2.7 for now but either one should work and i'll go for the 64-bit install this prompts me to save a file which i will save on my computer and i'll go ahead and uh, execute this file which uh, opens the installer for Miniconda 64-bit uh, setup I say yes I agree to the license agreement I'll install it just for me this time I'll accept the folder where it suggests uh, this should get installed and then here I will not add the Anaconda to my path environment variable as it's not recommended and I'll make a comment about this later on. So let's go ahead and install. This um, takes a few seconds on some systems. This might take a bit longer. I will, I might speed up the video. Um, I also gonna say that uh, this 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 environment is a Windows 10 and I'm running a virtual machine on Amazon cloud workspaces um, so I think that if, if if I can install it on this virtual machine you can install it pretty much anywhere you want success Conda has successfully installed in my machine I'm going to learn about all this at a later time and I can finish the installer. can close this and now I follow on the instructions and I want to make sure that uh, Conda is installed correctly by running this command. And now note that I have an anaconda prompt and I have my regular command prompt. If I type here uh, on my regular command prompt it says that it's not an internal it's not recognized and that's because Conda was not added to the path as it gave me the option during the install so instead I'm gonna use the anaconda prompt and then type the command that uh, is suggesting here right here Conda list I'll type it here and this lists me all the packages that are now available in the Conda environment. So I confirm that Conda has been installed successfully and I moved on to the next step. I need to download this file that we, made ava we make available um, and which lists all the requirements that uh, Catalyst needs to run properly. And what I want to do is download this file which I can do if I click here on raw. This is the raw file and then I do right click, save page as, uh, the name is just fine on whatever folder you choose. 
then go back here and then open a terminal window and go into the directory where that file was downloaded in my case was in downloads let's see if it's here yes it's here python 2.7 environment.yml and then i will type this command which i will just copy and paste And what this does is goes through all the required dependencies for catalysts and downloads them all and then will install them, compile everything that needs to and will and that will be it. And then we'll have um, catalyst successfully installed inside the conda environment and ready to run our trading algorithms. One more time, this process might take a bit longer on some systems and I will fast forward here until the installation completes. Success! Catalyst has been installed successfully and smoothly as predicted and we can follow the instructions here just to, to check that Catalyst has been um, successfully installed. So for that, I need to activate this environment as, as the instructions are outlined here. I say activate Catalyst. I'm now inside the Catalyst environment as you can see here. And I can check that Catalyst is correctly installed by running this and indeed Catalyst is up to version 0.33 which is the most up-to-date as of today, October 30th, 2017. So now we are ready to start running our trading algorithms, which I will cover on a separate video. Um, and I said this has been running smoothly because I already had installed some other packages that I needed that are covered um, here which is the Microsoft Visual C++ compiler for Python is already installed in this system and I will cover on a different video the problems that some people experience installing this. In some cases it just installed just fine in which um, you just download and install. In some others you have to jump through some hoops to, to get it right. So again we have successfully installed Catalyst. We are ready to start running algorithms until next time, bye-bye.